Diedrich Bank is proud to support our local high school sports teams and be the Rep King Media Sponsor for the 2023-2024 basketball season. Live for today, bank for tomorrow, member FDIC.
So Jordan, you scored your 1,000 point tonight against T-Town your senior year. What's this what kind of mean to you? Um, you know, it was, wasn't really a goal I had in mind. My whole, like my whole high school career, it kind of just came about, and I, I kind of try to let the game come to me, but it's a really special moment, you know, uh, falling behind my brother also, you know, only brothers in school history to do it. That's that really special to me. Absolutely. You know, we've played in tough environments recently, the past two games, and, you know, this one might outdo them all. You know, the 100th anniversary and all the fans, we love playing in these environments, and, you know, we think it makes us better, so it's very special. You guys gel so well together. Sweet and him got you 20. Uh, you had 14. Uh, it's not just you, it's other guys that are contributing. What do you credit that to? Yeah, I'd say all of our kids, we put in hard work in the gym, and, you know, it shows on game days, and we have kids that, you know, if one kid's not doing particularly well, another kid's going to go off, and that's that's what we really love about our team. And our chemistry is just it's something really special. This is actually the first time I've ever been in this gym. And uh, when they called before the season started and said, hey, we have an opening, we've got a huge celebration planned, um, and we'd like you guys to come down, like, we were open, and, and we said we'll be there. And uh, it was probably better than I expected as far as the environment. You knew, like, it was going to be jam-packed. Like, that wasn't the thing, but it's just two good teams and, like, trading punches. Like, the game probably couldn't have been a, a, a more enjoyable game to watch. Um, but it was a, a credit to both teams, credit to our guys. Like, every time they made a run, we had a response of some kind. And, uh, you know, I'm telling you, we, we're in the gauntlet of our schedule right now. And... Every day, win or lose, coming back to practice the next day, our guys have been locked in trying to get better. And we know, hey, we may, we, we're going to play the best teams that we can find. And no matter what the result of the game is, we got to make sure that we come out of it better than we were going into it so that it prepares us for the postseason. Uh, two really good teams yeah. that we lost to. Um, and, and we had chances to win both games. Uh, but this is this is a veteran group, um, and they respond. Uh, they they know, you know, nights that, that we don't play well, like we've got a chance to get beat, uh, and and nights that we show up, um, we feel like we're pretty darn good. So the last couple of games, the two games that we lost, we've started terribly in the first quarter, and so for whatever reason it was. Uh, we came out, and that's the, the that's the bounciest rim I've ever seen in a high school gym. So as long as you hit the rim, it's got a good chance of going in. So I'm glad we started at that basket because uh, you could see a guy, a guy like Cam, when he sees the ball go in early, um, he's pretty electric with the basketball in his hands. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate that we finally started the first quarter well and, and then just, you know, settled into the game and, and made plays throughout. One of the things that we pride ourselves on or try to pride ourselves on is, like, when you go into a, a road atmosphere, like, we call it being a dog. Like, you got to be a dog, and, and um, you got to be committed to playing defense for 32 minutes, and, you know, teams are going to score, but, like, can you guard and can you rebound? And, and that was, like, the epitome of, like, I'm going to sell out and, and put myself on the floor for my teammates to try to make a play, and, um, you know, that, that, that kind of... To me, um, that steal right there kind of like sealed the game. And our, our three keys were paint scores, trying to limit their paint scores, um, offensive rebounding, which I thought we did pretty good, uh, and then live ball turnovers. And that was really the big stat. They had eight steals and, um, you know, prob probably for 12 points would be my guess, uh, points off turnovers. So you can't give a team like that easy buckets, and we gave, gave them too many easy ones. Yeah, he came out timid to start. I mean, really, all of us. All of us came out timid. Um, but once he, once he started getting in an Alex Kramer mode, attack mode, it, that's, you know, that's when he's good. We got to have that all, all the time out of him. Um, and he, you know, he, he helped us stay in the game. You know, because Tuscola came out and threw some haymakers. And um, but like I told our group, I was really proud of their response, their resiliency. Um, you know, and, and that's what this group is. They're tough. They're not going to go away. Uh, we kept fighting, finding a way to get stops, um, and the, the ball started going the hole. But uh, you know, like I said, you can't you can't give them eight turnovers or eight steals for um, for buckets. So uh, they thrive in transition, and you know when they you give them steals, that just it's basically like giving them points. Okay? Um, so that was that, that was the biggest stat that stuck out to me. Down the stretch, you're not used to missing threes down the stretch. Um, that was critical, Garrett, Zach. I mean, everybody was missing them, but uh, the team still didn't give up at that point. They were still fighting no matter what was going on. Yeah, that's this group. They're not. They're never going to. Uh, 
Uh, and we we preach that and preach that. You know, every group that we've had, they don't they don't stop. They don't they don't quit fighting. And we got really good looks. They executed very well down the stretch. We just the ball didn't go in. Um, but the stuff we ran it was they did exactly what we wanted to do. Um, executed our sets when we needed to, and just didn't get them to fall. Yeah, I mean they were wide open. They were the shots we need to take. They need to continue to take them. Um, and that's what we told them, you know. And and you know Garrett and Joey, they're they're telling them that stuff too. Like those are the shots you got to shoot, and uh, you know keep keep believing that they're going to fall, and they will. Yeah, it was it was Horton and Sweetman and, and Quinn. I mean Quinn was the biggest one. You know he's he's not averaging a ton of points, but he's their whole. He, that's what they're all about, you know. Um, the biggest thing was we gave Sweetenham too many easy buckets to start the game. You know, you give a kid like that confidence and he's not going to relinquish it. Uh, we can't give him confidence early, and that's what we did. Uh, this was a sectional type atmosphere, but Coach Bozart mentioned when you, when you got the call to come down here, mm -hmm. it had to do something to him being a part of something like this, but also – this is the type of atmosphere that gets you ready for postseason against quality competition. How did you relinquish that in the moment? Oh, I mean, we 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 didn't take it for granted. Our kids soaked it all in. You know, it, this this prepares you for February. Um, and I cannot, I don't. People don't know that. Some people may not know this. We were supposed to play Madison tonight. Madison canceled on us. We already had all this stuff planned. And hats off to Tuscola to jump in and, and say, hey, we'll play. We'll come to your place and. Uh, I can't thank them enough for, for basically saving us because uh, this night wouldn't have happened if it wasn't uh, wasn't for them stepping in and, and being willing to play us and do this. And like I told you, Steve, it's it's a shame we got so many good 1A teams yeah. in this area that somebody you know there's going to be a really good team that doesn't advance. Oh, yeah. To be a part of that, I'm, and I'm just so blessed to be part of. It. I had goosebumps all the, the all day. Uh, I barely slept last night. It, it, it was just a cool experience. I'm honored to be a part of it, uh, to be mentioned in the same breath as, as those people. And, 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 you know, Coach Crawford and Coach Carey have been so great to me. And that's, you know, it, that shows you how much they care about continuing this tradition is they don't, they're not selfish. They don't, they want this program to continue to thrive. And they're always willing to help people out. They've, they've been so, so good to me. Um, I can't thank them, them enough, but to be part of this, to be part of 100 years, to be the ninth coach ever in this program's unbelievable history, uh, is I'm so blessed to, to be that, to say that. Uh, this was such a great night. We just came out on the wrong end. I really wanted to win this game. Uh, but, you know, uh, but I, just to be part of this is, means everything to me.